They did it for three games in North America. What were the Japanese games? Uh, there's more. I think there's like a Gundam one or something. But I have Insomouse Yo... Uh, yeah, yeah Insomouse no Yakata and Vertical Force again. I had the Japanese copy before I had the North American one. But yeah, uh, I'm going to get this all set up and then we'll do Virtual Boy Wario Land. See you guys in a bit. My favorite thing is how the uh, Madden games went. Because <laughs> it was like Madden 94, Madden 95, Madden 96, and then Madden 64. They jumped back a few years. Yeah. And they went to go for, uh, for years. And then uh, for Madden 14, they called it Madden NFL 25, which is going to be very confusing come the year 2025. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow you playing that in, a, in another four years. Okay, I'll be right back. I have to get something to drink. So when did the first John Madden football come out on? Was that like Genesis, like the Super Nintendo era? No, uh, I, I uh, believe it's DOS actually is the uh, first Madden game. Oh wow, really? Okay. Uh, John Madden Football debuted in 1988 on the Apple se uh, II series of computers. Yeah. Okay, that's what it was. In 1964 would be really cool. That'd be hard to do. Apparently Bethesda worked on it and then dropped it to sue EA over another football game. <laughs> I see the uh, Moonbase Alpha memes coming into the chat because of the mention of John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> We've seen that video way too much. The other thing that makes that John Madden thinks me of is your fault, John. Football <laughs> is a sport. Go, Go Packers. Packers. I'm sorry. It's a fucking good video. Picnic Face <laughs> is a good comedy group. Uh... Also, yes, Go Packers. Oh, yeah, of course you would. <laughs> Me and Bubba both are from Wisconsin. Oh my god. Dude, we're... Oh, I don't know if you were there for a jump. Were you there for the for uh, the uh, the custom smash when we were discussing uh, Steven um, picking the Green Bay Packers colored ice climbers? No, I don't think so. <laughs> he goes. He says something like, "I can't risk Mal's family watching this video and me not being uh, supporting the Packers." <laughs> I respond, I, and, I, and then I asked him, uh, "What? Um, oh God, what was it? It was uh, well before you met Mal. What was your favorite football team?" And then he paused and said, "What's football?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me. If your family's from Green Bay and you even remotely insult the Packers, you will never hear the end of it. Question I mean, mark exclamation point question mark exclamation. Point. <laughs> God damn it! Ayu, ayu, ayu. Ayu, ayu. You ever think the internet, like, rotted our brains? Oh, yeah. Yes. Long time yeah. ago. But I enjoy it more. It makes life more fun. You know the movie series The Matrix? Well, our equivalent of The Matrix is the internet. We're just plugged into it all the time. Yeah. I'd like someone to have a counter argument. Do you remember the episode of Rocco's Modern Life where Heifer watches too much TV and it takes his brain? Yes, yeah. I actually do. <laughs> yep. All right, volume warning. I don't know how loud this is going to be. Since oh, you're boy. in Austin, how much of your wardrobe is burnt orange? Well, orange was my favorite color before I moved to Austin. 
<laughs> just say you orange all the time anyway. Yeah. So I haven't. I've. I have yet to. Uh, I should go sometime to a uh, to a Longhorns game. Look here for two two years. I haven't been to a uh, football. It's a sport. Go Packers. Go, go Packers. Number one of the NFC North for See some it, smell reason. It, football. All right, I think I got it all set up. Uh, let's do donations, let's do art block, and then let's do the third game for game clearing tonight. Don't the parking at UT is terrible? Uh, I'm like, I'll probably just like Uber or something. <laughs> not that far of a, there's some pretty good parking downtown. It's not that far of a walk from downtown to UT campus. Guardian gnome, or garden gnome, thank you for all the honk bits. Uh, let me make sure I'm actually at the right spot here. Thank John, you, very important boy. What? Keep going. I'll, I'll ask it once uh, we start the game. Okay. Little Stoner Boy says, The goose is loose. Get ready for abuse. Get ready for abuse from a goose on the loose. Uh... Take this first moose. <laughs> hop in. But, sir, it, I said, I said hop, hop in. in. Afro Blade Master says, uh, my actual first reaction to playing this game was, I have too much power. Pretty much how I felt just then, anyways. Uh, thank <laughs> you, nothing this for the bits. Or too little. The gardener says, that goose is a fucking wanker. I can see that. I agree. Geese Howard says, honking noises. <laughs> <laughs> Art block's gonna be fun, by the way, based on that. Dragon Lover 9000, thank you for the bits. Love Life Festival says, Hi, John, long time watcher, first time donator. Your streams are just what I need, as I found out recently that my dog of 10 years has cancer. Oh, no. Ooh. And it's an awful uh... due to being too close to his heart. Thankfully, I'll be home all next week and this Saturday. I'm so sorry, Love Life. That bites. Oh, Spoil the hell out of that dog. Spend yeah, much time. Sucks. Yeah, I'm so sorry, but. Never forget all the memories that you you built with them, and then spoil the hell out of them while you can. Uh, Colin Team and P says, "Sorry if this one seems a bit rushed. I've been very busy today. Yesterday I went to a conventiony type of thing close to my hometown with my friend, whom I'll call Alyssa. The convention was about different hobbies and was semi-interesting, but for some reason, half the people who showed up were either conspiracy theorists or anti-vaxxers and were being super annoying during the whole thing." We decided to leave early because the thing about Alyssa is she's got a very short temper and a very strong fist, and she was about ready to clock someone out. We hit the road and decided to go to what was probably the world's smallest diner since there was absolutely no food there. Diner only had two people working as staff, including ourselves. There were only three customers. In the middle of our meal, the other customer gets up to go to the bathroom, but doesn't make it very far as he starts choking on the food that he was still in the process of chewing. Neither me nor Alyssa knew how to perform Heimlich, so instead we alerted the staff only to find out they have no clue how either. Now I should probably take this time to mention that Alyssa is extremely skilled at mixed martial arts, oh no, and has insane control over her coordination and power. Why do I mention this? Because apparently her thought process at this moment was, nobody here knows the Heimlich maneuver, this guy is food stuck in his windpipe and needs it out, I should knock the wind out of him. Swiftly, Alyssa makes a pre pre precise strike aimed to be as effective as possible at knocking the wind out of him while causing the least possible amount of pain. The guy stumbles backwards, but thankfully doesn't fall, and the food comes flying out of his mouth. What came next was a hilarious exchange about how apparently violence does solve some problems. I know this is shorter than most of my other donations, but I still wanted to share this nonetheless. How do you keep getting in these scenarios, Colin? Like, how? This is almost as crazy. Yo, uh, PJ, the the runner from uh, from AJQ, the <laughs> speedrunner, he posted an amazing story about him going to a bar tonight on Twitter. Read that whole thread. It is amazing. It's but yeah, so Colin, good. how the fuck do you keep getting in these situations? Who is this? Stop. PJ, uh... PJ, PJ, PJ Mechavictor. Yeah, PJ Dai... I can't remember the... Daisase uh, or something like that? PJ, uh... Disere or something like that. D i c e s a r e. The super yeah, snes on Twitter. Di yeah, PJ dies there. Okay. Yeah, like he did the uh, Battle Block Theater run with Mecha Richter. He also does the Bionic Commander runs mostly at AGDQ. 
All right, let's go to the art block. Let me get it ready here, because we got a lot of posts while we were doing that. And they're all kind of amazing. I saw some posts earlier that look so good. There's some real yeah. good ones here. Oh my god. Uh, I th yeah, this is going to be a long art block, too, because we got two po pages worth of it. Let's go. Starting, of course, with Bagel the Goose stole John's beanie, and John is shocked. I've lost my eyes, too, but I guess that's just the art style of the game, anyways. <laughs> and, of course, he's Howard versus the Goose, and the Goose <laughs> wins. All these memes spread like wildfire when this game came out. Yeah, there's so many Geese and Goose ones. They're so good. Yeah. I like how the Goose is just standing in between the Rising Storm. And the Raging Storm. Yeah, exactly. Raging, yeah, Raging. Dad, what in the actual fuck? I don't know. <laughs> it's a normal day in Calgary, Alberta, and you are a very weird moose. All of a sudden, your cat son wants answers. Drawing you as a goose was the obvious way. John, also like this, you are ten times more dangerous, given the whole being a massive ancient beast, death, for forgot, and all. Yeah, don't fuck with moose. They will murder. I'm like, actually, goose they will actually. Who has, hey, who just don't has don't geese's face as a... Oh, Dino, of course, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> that fucking close-up of geese is great. Oh, shit, and they've got the... the... They've got the Neo Turf Master one too! Oh god! <laughs> On the Queen! Yeah. Speaking of speaking of goose, you get, just get ready for a lot of this. Me? It's <laughs> <laughs> a really good Photoshop. First time using the Brewers, so hopefully I'm doing this right. For starters, thanks for playing this game for clearing, John. I love Brawl in the Family. I was excited to see the game get showcased a bit. I always love seeing some Brawl in the Family or even just general indie dev attention. Thought I could explain what the bubble slash challenge file flies do exactly for Tadpole Treble. Bubbles unlock things such as the bestiary, which is basically a character guide. All the characters are background stuff, elements of the game. The screenshot here is a baton. Yeah, we were already actually already in on this page, so we showed this one off. Uh unlocks into the bestiary, blah 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 blah. The challenge flies unlock a super super mo yeah, super mode hard level. These are just optional stuff, of course, so not necessary for game clearing. Last thing I wanted to show was the song that somewhat showcases the Easter egg in Bullfrog Grove. It's very subtle, but really silly. And finally, the F-Rank jingle if you do the Luigi's Mansion-esque task of deliberately playing a stage as bad as possible. That's all for now, and I hope Tapple Treble can get more love. Nintendo Switch, please. Uh, alright, if this is quick, I'll do these. Oh, little Tapple, find your way back home. Oh, is it? Is it doing this on its own? <laughs> he just keeps slowly zooming in on his face. Is that it? Is that just the easier? He just slowly zooms in on his face? That's kind of brilliant, actually. <laughs> bigger! Bigger! Perfect. And what was the other one? The F rank. All right, that works too. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of the E rank theme from Sonic uh, Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> it's literally, it's that's just as it is. It's all the geese pictures. Oh, the goose saved him. <laughs> You use the other door, the geese will attack you if you go through this door. Untitled Geese Game by House House and SNK. God, that'd be so much good. That'd be so good if you're running around just deadly raving everyone. <laughs> <laughs> if your goal in that game was just to bug Terry Bogard, that would be also be great. Th this picture, oh. this is the one I loved seeing going around. That was Dick Devil. Really well done. Oh, here we go. Bagel is a goose! Uh, via Picru. Also, fun fact where I live, where we don't have that kind of goose. Those of us in PA get Canada geese in fall and winter. I mean, they're still just as dickish, so. <laughs> yeah, it's still a goose. Someone in chat said, Are you okay? Bust a honk. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, John, I'm back from doing some art for you. Uh, I haven't really had any inspiration or motivation to draw lately because of my family situation. Just moved basically across the country and away from Florida to Illinois a few months ago, and it's been hard, especially leaving my best friend in Florida. Your streams always cheer me up, though, so thank you for that. Anyways, I just got a kitten myself named Widow, so I figured I would draw the best cord shooter bagel. Now I just have the hope that Widow doesn't decide that cords are better toys than the ones I bought her, or else my game room has a threat coming. Well, make sure make sure Widow's teeth are fine, and you probably won't have an issue. Bagel really only chews cords now, just if we're completely ignoring him and he gets pissed off. <laughs> Look at all these geese! At last, we've got you. You knew you couldn't keep the secret forever, John. Now we know where you keep getting all your eggs from. Now, if only we can figure out where Tom keeps all of his quagsire Mr. No Arms army. <laughs> also, the picture <laughs> in the back. You'll never find out the answer. What in the world? With her husband, Gustash Bag. Curse a cowardly dog. I was gonna say, I don't, get, I don't get this reference. Ooga booga booga. Curse the cowardly dog, but I don't get what the connection was to Untitled Goose Game. Because we, we uh, at one point said that we were supposed to say ooga booga with, when trying to scare the guy, and that's what Eusta says to scare courage. Ah. Finally decided to do some more Proton John art, this time with GUN! Just because of how much the chat was trolling, he mentioned playing Uncharted instead of Spite Us, and this horror came to mind. Watch out. Fuck yeah, I'd play the hell out of that. <laughs> Uncharted Goose. Uh, it's just Uncharted, but instead of Nathan Drake, it's the Goose. That would be really good, actually. Hats <laughs> take stop. I would love to see the backstory as to how Sully trained a goose. <laughs> You're Look, man, the goose Sully can accomplish strength? many things, so. <laughs> John plus untitled goose game equals buff ton John birds. All the birds. King DDD, uh, Halucha, Rockhawk, Fat Chocobo, and Garudamon. I was gonna say one of these does not seem as buff as the others. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like it's like the E Honda of buff. There's buff there. It's just under a lot of flab. This is just my life now. I'm I'm everything. Guess I broke real life too. Let's see. We got Rosa John. We got buff ton John. We got Goose John. We got Tadpole John. And Frog John. A normal day at the pond in the aftermath of the a John ellipse. Tadpole Johns, Frog Johns, Goose Johns, Oversized Swole Johns, Magical Space Princess Johns, all are John. John, help us all. Today's been a very lakeside theme so far. That's my only reason for doodling this. Who's your favorite John? In all, se in all seriousness, I've been dealing with stress problems after getting an overload of homework and some other things. I haven't had much time to draw, so I decided to take less time drawing with lower budget projects like the stream art. Hope you like it. Thank you so much, Adam. Man. My favorite John is the source. The source? Yeah, you. Aww. The source of all Johns. The Our friend. Or John Mulaney, that guy's funny. <laughs> I was like, what about John Madden? John Madden. John Madden. That's Chris, that's not John Madden. Beware of Goose, honk. Get him, he stole our, <laughs> he stole our dry cons. That's truly the only way you'd get a gamer to go after a goose. Get him, Bagel! You can stop him. Thank you so much, Pokemon fan. <laughs> Alright, next page. Tonight's stream, complete game T. Start game U. Honk, honk, honk! I was really excited back when a title goose game was announced and have been all over it since it came out. Anyways, have a John Goose. Thank you, Avi. Or Avi, rather. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, now we honk. start. I need, I need to have... Do I have a soundboard button I can use for that? What can I use in replacement of honk? <laughs> I mean, what do you got? Done. <laughs> Perfect. I had this rather goofy and or stupid idea of my, in my head of turning the goose into a rather loud car horn because, well, honks. Would definitely make commuting to work more interesting. I would have done, um... Blarg. Or I don't have that on the on the quick board, sadly. Here's a goose, John, a honking and asserting his dominance, and bagel murping at him. Had to include them since the they begin they beings of chaos and destruction. Watch this game always entertains me, and you might be by far the best goose ever. Aw, thank you. Ooh. No offense to Tom if he's reading this. I haven't seen you play through yet. <laughs> Gasp. Egad. It's a goose. It's a bagel goose. That moment when you realize that putting in an eye patch on the goose is as much a stream reference as it is a Metal Gear reference. <laughs> <laughs> is the right you, you can see the box in the background exactly thank you Nota. <laughs> all right we were talking about chainsaws 
This night is basically Christmas, but with frogs and geese, which makes it even better. Thank you. Also enjoy a geese with a chainsaw. Everyone's favorite game. Oh God, no. Oh God. Oh God. That's some high speed honking. Well, this took a bit since I'm still not used to posting stuff here, but here's my character uh, waiver with the protagonist of Tadpole Treble. Look at that little egg. It's adorable. Thank you, Nitro. Hey. Oh my god, this fucking picture. This fucking That's picture. Pretty... <laughs> That's legit. That's legit. Hong Kong, I'm John, I'm do stream Hong Kong. <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> you got the bookshelf color right in order. <laughs> <laughs> Someone did the research. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not directly in order, but it's pretty fucking close. The blue one there is really what makes it. I like That's... how all the shelves are empty, minus the golden bell on top of the blue one. Well, because I had to go hide them all, obviously. April Fool's profile pic? Oh, man. No, that's my new webcam picture. I'm never... Anytime I turn on webcam, it's just this picture now. <laughs> it's, like, it's amazing you're getting so much done while not moving. Yeah. Dominance! Hark! Yeah. <laughs> You're having a lot of fun with that sound now. I, I got, I got, you know what? I, I'm repeating this one. I got to change it up. What's another good one here? This is the new, this is the new honk sound. Uh, Sub Zero. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a honk if I use this one. This is just a mallet. Just a mallet. What? I'm guessing from the, I don't know, from the high the bell. No. Um. What was that used as? What was that? Well, the shop that you could. You had to place an item. There was a hammer that looked like this with some sort of object connected to it. A cocaine mallet is what everyone's saying. <laughs> oh, right. We said crochet. Instead, we said cocaine instead of crochet. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Just a little something as a thanks for sticking up for me the other day, John. Though I do have to confess, I was a little hesitant at first on reporting this to one of your mods, then I have it passed to you because I didn't want to disrupt your Sunday, but your Discord convinced me otherwise. So I guess all I can really say is thank you. Well, no worries. Like, don't be... I don't like it when people are shitty like that to people in our community. I try my best. I can't always, but I always try my best to uh, make sure no one is upset or no one's being a shitty person to someone else. I don't like that shit. So don't worry about it, Lita. Yeah. Huh. Unt untitled goose game. Oh, yes. <laughs> well done, Tails. She looks very surprised. Speaking of surprised, a picture that doesn't load. I'm actually surprised. It got me. You Just will so give me an egg. Yeah! Oops. <laughs> yeah. I tried to press one and I finger slipped and I hit three. <laughs> it worked pretty well, actually. I'm amazed they worked in order, yeah. Well, this one doesn't want to load, apparently. Hang on, I think this is the the designated takes forever to load picture. Metal Goose Solid. Here's a Metal Goose Solid I drew a while back, specifically the Big Boss Goose, trademark. Yeah, that, that one from W doesn't want to load for some reason. It's not a, it's not a five o'clock shadow, he just sort of buried his head in the dirt. <laughs> it's a lovely evening on Twitch and John is a horrible goose. Had the time to draw oh, another- Oh shit, it's your wife! Oh shit, hi, it's your old wife! Uh, honey, congrats on your 25th birthday! Enjoy being able to rent a car! Now you can do such things such as get more than 50% off your car insurance thanks to Geico. And... <laughs> and John, you're making the goose, the goose angry, that's a gecko! Wow, now I can drive! Can you rent a car? You can vote a couple years ago. You can still <laughs> vote. Congratulations. <laughs> Had the time to draw another drawing for the stream, but this time it's a digital piece. First digital art I've done for the stream in a while. The first stream art I've done in Chip Clip Studio Paint, and the first art in the program where I understood how to use reference layers. That's a lot of firsts for me. Congratulations, Deb. Also, I'm going to say it again just in case you didn't hear it. Happy birthday, hon. I tried to sneak up and wish you happy birthday in person. But you were beating up Pokemon trainers, so I was like, I don't want to be rude. And the cat was guarding your, your room, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to be like, well, I gotta fight the cat and. Ruin the video. <laughs> <laughs> Very important things were happening. I can imagine. Hopefully, it went well. Where is the prototype starship? 
Goose, how the living hell did you steal a starship? Uh, steal yeah. a shiny object. <laughs> Another one I drew a while back. People seem to like this one, so hopefully it brings a few laughs. I like it, Mission. Now the goose is in space. Should have challenged the cat to a Pokemon battle. He'd probably win. <laughs> now we oh, just, here we go. Uh, I feel like the... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was said, so it had to be drawn. Honks the theme to Super Bell Hill. <laughs> honk, 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 honk. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> oh. Because it's Luca's birthday, have a taco cake on me. By the way, the taco isn't real. Coolestbirthdaycakes.com. Hell yeah. Even comes with hot sauce. <laughs> Dave, we're gonna go get that cake for your. We're gonna go. We're gonna go out for dinner, and then we're gonna go buy this cake. I doubt those are made of fondant. Those hot sauce packets. Probably not. They're probably just placed on there. Can I get a slice with the hot sauce packet on it? John said to tell you happy birthday. So happy birthday. I'm not sure what this reference is. Don't worry, the exclamation mark is just saying I have mobile data turned off. But context bot aside, happy birthday, Reese. Just sending me proof that you did it. And, oh my god, what is this picture? Godzilla ver- Goosezilla versus Buff Ton John. Hopefully John can save Luca for her birthday from the foul. Perhaps this, his sick cowboy hat that Tom doesn't have will tip it in his favor. Trivia, apparently if you type Muscle Goose, a recent musical group by the same name that currently has three albums comes up. The more you know. I WAS A WIMP BEFORE ANCHOR ARMS! Now everybody hates me. Now I'm a goose and everybody loves me! Oh my god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> goose John steals Rosa John's bra for clearing. Huh. Oh, sorry. It's gotta be. Actually, that's probably that's probably what Rosa John's screaming at that problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, well played, Jimmy. Well played. Untitled Crane Game. Do this back in September. It's the less obvious SNK goose joke I had. Ooh, I think you got me on that one because I can't recognize that character. Yeah, I don't actually. That's not the girl from Matra Melee, is it? No, it wouldn't be because that's not first party SNK. I think you got me on that one, Lele. Shit. Oh, Sam, Sam Show. Show? Uh, yeah, because I don't play Sam Show, so I don't recognize the characters. Hmm. Fuck, okay. Lele has called me out on my SNK knowledge. Goddamn, well played. <laughs> <laughs> you have a master's in SNK, John, come yeah, on. Yeah, but I focused on SNK, I focused on King of Fighters. You King of Fighters, Harry. Metal Slug, and Fatal Fury were my focuses. That was my concentration. This teacher's fucking shit. Yo, I specifically said numerous times during the course, like, I don't play Samurai Showdown. I don't play Sam Show. That's why I didn't recognize her. Predictable. In honor of Untitled Goose Game, I decided to draw Cat John as the goose. Wait, what do you mean wrong goose? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. <laughs> Does that mean that Lele defended their thesis successfully? Yeah, exactly. They've got their PhD. They passed. They passed completely. In order to show you my skill, I need an egg. I was bored a ways back and thought, uh, thought you, John. Here's a Wesker, and here's a Saurus. Appreciate how much time I've wasted to do this, please. It, 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 it's weird to me that it's so likely that someone's probably said at one point I wrote my thesis on SNK. SNK. Oh, it's entirely <laughs> possible. Yeah. Oh yeah. I did a I did an entire paper and semester paper on uh, charity and video games. Basically, just went to GDQ once. Honk honk, goose with tits with knife sketch. Honk. Oh Thanks my god. Thanks, Chumney. Uh... And last pick before we go to the next game. Hopefully, nice. re-uploading it works. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't talk to me on my buff sons ever again. Untitled goose. If that is your real name. Side notes. Uh, one, I had originally intended for Bagel to appear instead of Chugga when I added the text, but colored it wrong. I put the name change, but not the text. Sorry for that. Two, the Superman shirt reminded me that Steven Amount played Superman 64 for extra life. Do you think you'd play the game on stream at some point if you haven't already? We've played it on stream a bunch. It's come up a couple times. All right, and with that, let's hope to God this works. Yeah. Well, since we beat game uh, T and game U today, why not start game V? Hooray, that's the alphabet. Virtual Boy, Wario Land.
so this is a I've played this barely. Like I, I played a tiny bit of this once. So I know next to nothing about it. Oh, hang on. Yep, okay, that was still happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope everyone likes the color red. I believe the emulator has settings to turn off red. And I hope so, because God, this is already hard on the eyes. Yeah, boy. That's a thing. Is this like the full Wario Land game, or...? It is a... a well, it's it's the shortest of the Wario Land games, but it is a Wario Land game. Ooh, boy. Here, see? Straight up. Oh, yeah. That sure doesn't look half bad, but I guess because it's emulating Game Boy, essentially. Yeah. It's essentially the Virtual Boy was just two Game Boys. Two, two more powerful Game Boys. I've got to figure out how to change these settings. Um... Give me a second. Oh, boy. Art! Yeah, art! I need to remember how to change settings in RetroArch, because it's been a while. There we go. Left one. Core options. How do I customize The core only options? reason he is emulating this game is because there's no way that he has available to stream a Virtual Boy. Yeah, to actually stream Virtual Boy requires you basically... Hacking a Virtual Heavily Boy. Heavily modding a Virtual yeah. Boy. Yeah. You basically need to, uh, like, straight up just attach yourself to the motherboard to get it to work. It's At, it's that, not, at that point, it's probably easier to install something on your computer that reads Virtual Boy games. Uh, fuck. I actually don't know how to change core settings in RetroArch. Because I don't usually play around with this. Um... Uh, should be... Hold on, let me pull up that. Show us that you have the actual game. I literally have the entire North American Virtual Boy collection in box. <laughs> Don't fucking step on me. Don't step up to me, because I will fucking put you down. <laughs> I will show you how much of a nerd I am. Why, why do you... Why do you even need to ask that question? He has eight, over 8,000 video games. So when you see a Vegito pic on his Twitter account, you should know why. Prove it. Oh my god. Maniacal really going there? Maniacal's going for it. Oh my god. Yeah, of course Maniacal did. Hey Maniacal, <laughs> by the way. Are we doing this? Are we, are we, are we stalling? We're stalling. Thinking, We're stalling. Thinking. We're stalling. We're stalling. We're stalling, everyone. Do you think I'm... Stalling. You ever played uh the Jackbox game Patently Stupid? Uh, long, long ago, yeah. I just played it for the first time today. It's really fun. It's good, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh god, freaking Powerpuff Girls stalling. I can't. Um, oh, so, wait. are you... Ah, so once you get into oh. the game, uh, click menu toggle on the menu bar, and it should be under options, would be... should be all the basic controls. I think my favorite prompt that game that came up during that game was uh, during one of the final rounds. Everyone had to write, had to come up with a product for uh, people recommending JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to them. Oh no! Uh, how many? How were the memes? Uh, we had uh, let's see, we we had one that was a callback from a previous round of just. Uh, it was an advancement of the product Just Leave to Just Fucking Leave. Uh, we had one that was, uh, <laughs> tell chat that JoJo's awful. Mm, ooh. 
Uh, mine was beat them up. The chat. Uh, beat up people <laughs> yeah. who recommend who recommend JoJo over and over again as a solution for not being recommended JoJo over and over again. Because my my impetus behind it was that uh, they'll appreciate the reference of getting punched over and over again. And they'll leave you alone. I get it now. This is a reference. Here we go. There's like there's a there's a huge duality here of. Uh, somebody saying JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is my religion, and then someone else saying JoJo is awful. Yeah, that's that's sounds like an anime fan. Remember, it's Mario's tennis, not Mario tennis. Exactly. The most powerful game on the Virtual Boy. Water World. Water World. Water World. Could... Yeah. Is it have... starring Kevin Costner? Sadly, it is not signed by Kevin Costner. Do you have the beloved game from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Oh, that's a baseball! God, if only. And then so there's John? Mario's Tennis has a... Oh, you can't even see it in the dark light here. Hang on. For display only! Because it technically technically did not have a box. Mm, that's why it came with the Metro Boy, didn't it? And uh -huh. here's, here's the most expensive one for the system here. Jack Bros. This is the North American pre-actual correct designs of Jack Frost uh, and the Jack-O-Lantern. I forget who the third one is. Jack the Ripper, it looks like? Yeah, I actually can't remember who the other, the other two are in this one. <laughs> but yeah, this is what they thought... Uh, this is what they thought they were going to look like in North America. He ho hey, that's not okay. Yeah, actually, Jack Ripper was the other one. Jack Frost, Pyro Jack, and Jack Ripper. Yeah, that's what these three are supposed to be. If it's... you've seen Persona, they look nothing like these three. So not quite. Oh, oh, okay. I was looking at the the, the, the green thing under the bros. I thought that was the whatever the dude on the left's nipples. No, <laughs> that's Jack Frost's collar. Oh, that's his collar. Okay. So, John, I believe once you've gotten into the, once you're in the game and you've swap, did menu toggle, yeah. it should be under options, should be where you can make, make everyone not go blind. Hopefully. And once you make that change, remember to go into overrides and save core overrides. Hang on, let me load the game here. Load content. Virtual Boy Wario Land, load archives, Virtual Boy. Uh, to Crazy Dude, uh, T was Tadpole Tebble, Treble. Yeah. Where did you s create game options so, file? Is that what you said to do? Um, so once you have the game started, yep. um, there's a menu bar. Uh, you want to do menu toggle, and that will get you into a quick menu. And core options should be, once you're in the quick menu, you should be under options, which is between the start streaming and on screen overlay. Options says create game option file at anaglyph preset palette and write analog to digital. Oh, palette, there we go. Uh, black and white is the other option. So I think that's going to be better than red. Yeah. Now, do I have the restart for that? I do have the restart for that. Okay, and once you do that, uh, make sure you go to the very bottom in the quick menu uh, in overrides. Oh, I think I fucked up because we still got red. Yeah, I, I, ca I caved on this one because usually we don't do emulators. But this mm -hmm. time I'm this this is like me caving. This is you admitted this this, this is far too hard for what, what it is. What did you say to do after we've done everything? Uh the very last thing is overrides. It's okay. at the very last options. Save core overrides. Uh, yes. Alright. That way you don't have to make this change. It's still red. <laughs> uh despite saying palette. Yeah, alright. Black and white. Did you restart the emulator? Oh, I only restarted the, the game. Hang on. That'd be why. 
See, I didn't expect us to get through three games tonight. That's why I'm woefully unprepared for this. Two games. To, uh, to, to be on the third game, I meant, rather, yeah. Efficiency! Alright, load core. No, no, sorry. Load content. Downloads. Virtual Boy Wireland. Load archive. Virtual Boy Beetle. There we go! We're in business. <laughs> now we all won't go blind. You're welcome, chat! Just Thank some of us will go blind. Thank you, Bubba. It's almost like I have to do this stuff again. <laughs> say something. Oh god, it looks so awful. <laughs> wow, that is <laughs> You can t they were hiding a lot with that red. <laughs> yeah. Put it back to red. <laughs> I am Wario. I'm Let's make it brighter. <laughs> actually, you know that actually helped a bit. <laughs> yeah. One day, Wario was taking a nap behind a waterfall next to his airplane, with a table and some wine. It looks like, and ducks, and then. An otter? That's like a beaver. A bee doof. And spit on him. No, the wine! And then he got mad. But then he saw those people off in the distance. Those look like Minecraft sprites almost. They're so blocky. They're, this is gonna look really weird because this is a 2D image, or sorry, a 3D setup turned back into 2D, so it looks a bit janky. So basically it's just one, like, input. In the manual it specifies that Wario is exploring the Awazon River. Oh my god. <laughs> huck, look, look, yeah. Huck, look, look, yeah. Treasure! Throw everything in the treasure room. Beat him oh, up! Oh! I thought the chests were their heads! Yeah! Nope. <laughs> Oh no, the 10 key items are gone! For and then we reason. fell! And we only have a backpack that can hold an item! Ah! That was a hell of an earthquake! I think superimposing uh, the main character from King Quest screams over that. <laughs> it would be called for. Ah! Arr, look at my muscles! Look how fucking so ripped I am! Did this come out before Wario Land 2? Uh, you know, I think it did. Because they didn't give him the, uh, the, the pith helmet in, uh, in Warrior Land 2. Yeah, see, so that's Warrior Land 1 thing. I do like the falling animation. The belly flop there, it's neat. Okay, flop. going to Google, this came out in 95. And you said Warrior Land 2? Yes. Chat said shoulder buttons let you run. Thank you. Uh, I, I knew there was some way to move faster aside from just doing the shoulder tackle. According to Google, Wario Land 2 came out in 98. Wow, yeah, 98? So I didn't think it was that late. So this is the closest thing that uh, Super Mario Land 3 has to an actual successor. Or an actual sequel instead of what Wario Land 2 became. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, I get the feeling. I know it can still oh, be coins in this one, but how? You probably you probably had to pick up some like the enemies, or I don't know if that was available. I, they might have implemented that in this game between Warland One and Two, but like if you, uh, you might have had to like pick somebody up and throw them at that cloud, because that cloud looks like it's in the background. Oh, I think you're right. I think I actually had to. That uh, makes sense for a 3D quote unquote game. That's not right. Mm. Yeah. Controls! Let me adjust my suspenders here. Three different places say 98 for Wario Land 2. Damn. We have the Super Mario Wiki, the overall Wikipedia, and it's... IGN. Well, I guess it wasn't in the background. Nope, it's not. It's just floating there, menacingly. 
eating them Castlevania hearts. So I wonder if there is a gambling minigame. Um, yes, I believe. That's what I was going to ask before. Oh, there's a 3D trick. For God. So here's the thing. Notice in the pause menu here it says total goods and has numbers next to them. They don't go in order. They don't. They're not one to ten. It's one, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. I think this is a yeah. fourteen stage game. And if you get all ten of those, you get you know on your path to the best ending. You there's a hidden item in each stage. So we've got to find the hidden item. Hide the hidden item in this stage. If we want to try for the best ending. So those and these numbers are what let you jump between the foreground and background. Yes, yeah, they are. Those numbers represent what uh, what stage is? What stage it is, and yeah. Yeah. That rock is very suspicious. Yeah, but I can't mm -hmm. do anything about it because I don't have the bull power. But I can grab this key. Ah, that's a good. That's wow. a good ass jingle. Wow, that is a pretty good jingle. Lucky cat. <laughs> Why do you get the key? Why do you get the lucky cat? Why do you get the money? I assume Wah. this would be the first <laughs> Virtual Boy game you would ever compete. You're complete? Yes. History. Not really. A lot of people are uh, driving to play some Virtual Boy games. Because it's fucking hard to play Virtual Boy games now. It's annoying. Yes. There is a best ending and a secret best ending. Yeah, like, isn't it something crazy like get through the game crazy fast to get the, se the secret best ending? And get everything? <coughs> well, now I Ooh, that almost... Oh, no, that is solid ground. I thought it wasn't for some reason. Now I can go back and break this brick. Two, beat break the game the in two hours or less to get the secret best ending. Interesting. Wow, all that was just for uh, just a heart? A heart wow. Thing. Just for a heart. That's not great. I'm actually gonna head out. I'm gonna go to bed. That's fair enough, hey. too. Thanks Hi. for being on. Thanks for helping yeah. me. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Catch you later. Bye, later. Tom. So obviously we're not going to care about if we get the best ending or not with this. I, but, yeah, yeah, no, just beat the game. There's not, we're not the completionists, we're not Gerard. Honestly, at some point I was thinking of, oh yeah, we need the key to get to beat the stage. That's what it is. Of maybe next year instead of having to clear games. Complete games you've already cleared. Mm. Alright, are we doing, are we gambling? Yeah. Maybe, you know the answer to that, yes. Change we need to three. I don't know how this works. Well, let's still go with the cheapest one first. Oh, it's the same fucking thing! <laughs> <laughs> yes! We return! Oh. oh, it's just chance. Oh, yeah. Mistakes have been made. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how many we get with ten. Coins! <laughs> hey, you made back some of the money. Not all of it, though. Net loss. At least show the other game, too? Sure. Bet! Ready? Go! Oh, did I? I thought I was supposed to get the giant diamond. Oh, who needs diamonds when you got what hearts instead? What does that heart do? Hundred gives you one Yes, it's lives. Which is why this game is significantly easier than the other one. All right, let's go. 
Yep, 14 stages in the final boss. Um, Save point. So, the skull icons are your bosses? Boss fights. Like, yeah. yeah, bosses, I'd imagine. So, four bosses in total. Diamonds are actually one ups. Ew. Oh, just a straight up one up. So, live hearts are your coins from a Mario, actual Mario logic. Oh, it's just the bull already. What? Do you think there's gonna be more than one power up in this game? There, there is, but I think there's only one more. That, I was gonna say, I can't imagine there's a ton in this version of the game. Let's see. <clears throat> I mean, this game is legit the reason why people wanted to see the Virtual Boy get an actual release, like, uh, get a virtual console release. Pretty much just this game. And honestly, for most people I've heard, they've been like, yeah, it's not the best Wario Land game. Like, I've heard a lot of middling comments about this one. It doesn't seem awful. Like, it looks decent enough, but I can't imagine it plays. I, I well. hear it gets tedious by the end. That's the main reason I've heard negative things. I can imagine that very easily. Secret, secret. We found a secret. Lots of hearts. And a little bit of money. So, according to the wiki, there are three special power-ups, if that makes sense. I'm not going to name them. I figured you'd want to... Well, this is bull. We're using bull, which is standard. I don't know. I don't know if it's the dragon breath that we get again, and if it's the uh, jetpack we get again or not. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh boy! Oh, throw, throw into throw. Throw. Would do you mind if I say? Go for it. Okay. So, in addition to the basic forms of big and small Wario, you have Eagle Wario, Sea Dragon Wario, and King Dragon Wario. Interesting. No, you're coming with me. We're sacrificing Say. you to the coin clouds. Say, you're gonna, you're gonna become money. I hope you didn't expect to live a long and fruitful life. Oh. <laughs> didn't expect that. Does this stage have a 20 minute timer? Oh, yeah, it does. I just realized that. Holy cow. I think the... Is that time I went... I think it's too... Isn't that a little fast for a second? Uh-oh. Uh, I need flame power for that. I have definitely not seen one. There's also a pipe there I haven't gotten to. Say, so where's the pipe exit? I think I see where it starts. I think. Ah! That's what I've been missing. Hang on. Stuff is more hidden in this one. This one's, mm. it, feels, it feels sneakier with the hiding the stuff in this one than in the other Wario Lands. You gotta actually look. Yep. Well, let's see something here. Is there any hidden walls to jump through here? It always feels like there's like I'm clipping on something, but it's just the camera moving. Camera is kind of jumpy sometimes, I've noticed. Yeah. Well, now here's the question. Like, how the fuck do I get to all this shit? Oh. Oh, there we are. 
Oh, I found a one up instead. Well, I'll take it. Diamond. That was not what I expected to, to break, to be honest. <laughs> so you can't Mario two you can't Mario one this and like go above the above the uh top of it, the top of the level? Doesn't seem like. Can I walk back to the other zone whenever I want? Yes I can, cool. So we can if we if we're missing the treasure then we can just double back. Backtracking Never happens. Video game. That's probably what I have to do too. I probably have to backtrack once I find the flame power from one of these. All right, we got five lives. It's time. Sea dragon. Blood. It also looks more like steam than fire. I imagine that's what it's supposed to be. Well, remember it's gonna be red in. Uh, in the actual game. Yeah, I guess. And guess what led us to where we wanted to go? The pipe. That's the exit. Or... I guess that's the treasure. The background. <laughs> Woo! Two what a lovely... Found. This dragon power's not that bad, honestly. Compared to what they are have in uh, mm. actual normal Wario Land. Belly okay. flop. All right, I think we're done with stage two. Very crunchy, boring. That's yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah. So. The King Dragon Wild is when you have either the Eagle Wild or Sea Dragon Wild and takes the opposite power. So, so if you, you have them. Yes, and you get to keep use both abilities. So how lucky do you feel, John? <sighs> Not very. Say so, you have a problem. We gotta see what the 10 is. Coins! So, so here's the gain. thing, like, you're still getting a net gain, because this is three times what every coin is, but you lose half if you fail. Yeah, but it's it's half no matter what, so it's it's gambling that you'll play the higher odds, which you're less likely to win. And the times 10 is four. Chenzo, you probably have more luck than I do. Uh, Number three. I'd say two. Nope. It was number yep. four. All right, we were both wrong, Bubba. And I guess let's do. Ready, go. Let's see if we can figure out how to get that diamond. Figured it out. Whoever said it would look like I jumped into the bat, they were correct. Back and forth. Back and forth. Aw, oh, damn it. Anyone really? in chat that is surprised about John's luck needs to watch the, what was it, Bioland 2? John legit owns a Virtua Boy, correct? There are three in this household right now. <laughs> Two of them. One... One has uh, one eye working and one speaker working, opposite sides. One doesn't work at all, and the other one is supposed to work perfectly fine, but I don't know where the power supply is at the moment. Nice. The only reason I have three is because I was testing them for uh, a friend, because I'm the only one he, he knows that owns any Virtual Boy Kings. Now you just keep them all. To be fair, he's just like, uh, he's like, I know I can get these back whenever, whenever I come over to the house. He's just like, you can just hang on to these for now, because I know, I know if anyone's going to actually get use out of them, it'll be you. It's not like they're going anywhere. Or are they? John was a master thief all this time. Ah, uh, yes. I've stolen broken items. I'm a brilliant thief. 
No. The secret is he's going to have next Coliseum of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. So you said, did you say take a garlic after becoming the seahorse, or not to do that? Um. So it. Okay, let me double check. Wasn't it, it was to become the eagle? What after you have the the yeah the sea the dragon? Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to see what the. <clears throat> Do you want? Of course, because I don't trust the fucking like airline to not break these first. Let's say doors. that's. You have to basically have that in your carry on if you're gonna do that. Sir, why do you have three virtual boys in your carry on? Because <laughs> I have a problem. Um, the garlic is basically your super mushroom. From like super, the equivalent I... of Mario's well, super. Well, now I definitely need it. So. You got munched. Yeah, Those no, are some fast going. teeth. There's not a lot of leeway way with those. Nope. Sure aren't. I didn't... I don't think Nintendo... At, when did... A Nintendo consider Virtual Boy dead? 95. So this is right around the time it... Came dead, so there probably wasn't... Much or any quality control at this point. I mean, this was them taking a big risk and it uh, flopping. They they came a little too hard too hard to <laughs> to three. Yeah, they went. I can't even say they went all in because they didn't like hard commit to this. They just kind of failed immediately after they started. Kind of impressive. I remember seeing like the, the sale display for this thing. I remember being like, "Oh, this looks cool. I want to try this out." And then being like, "Oh, you you can't get this anywhere because it sucks." Yeah, yeah I can't imagine many places sold them after like the first week or so. Pretty much. Oh, this looks all right. That looks lovely. Interesting. Oh, well, there's the key. So I need to go here. This is a stage with one, right? Yeah, it's, it's literally only the boss stages that don't have the uh, items, so every normal platforming stage has one. Which makes sense, I guess. Sort of funny is that Virtual Boy was similar to the very first VR headset in concept, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, VR's, yeah, VR's big now, but like, 90s had weird ass giant VR stations. Yeah, they were and then, very. And then they kind of came back. Which was. Weird. Yeah, they. They tried to push before the technology was there, and then they pushed it again. Dude, remember when. Um, uh, shit. What, the Oculus was first coming out, and yeah. people made like those fucking giant treadmill zones again? Oh yeah, no, because basically that was the way that you could actually like walk around and still stay in place. Yeah, like like they had the demos were like you walking around Half Life Two. It's just like, did people not fucking learn from the nineties? You had to have cords everywhere. Like the headset used to be so much more like like cord, four cords in the back. I remember that. So like three D movies. Yeah, like all the shit you see, like the Lawnmower Man look was basically was basically what three D tech was in the nineties. <laughs> or VR, I guess. Time is a circle at this point? Yeah. You're, you're not wrong. You, you're saying that you expect people to learn that they're less. I, oh, I well, hope. Well, it's not that they, that they expect to learn. They ex they're expecting the consumers to forget so they can sell them the same product again. Also that. <laughs> like, companies don't forget. They just, they just know you forget so that you'll buy this stuff again. Or they expect the collectors to buy. Don't drag me into this. Uh, we never found the treasure, and we're pretty much done the stage. Uh -oh. I can only think of one place that we that I uh, didn't fully check out. Oh no! Actually, wait. No, I can think of a couple places. Hang on. Let's finish over here first. 
Yeah, because that's the exit right there, it looks like. Hello, Emerald. Oh. That looks like they want me to have bull now. Hmm. Do I swap? Because that's the end of the stage! Well, at least it doesn't force you to stay going there. There it is. The virtual board is just, say, the virtual board is just kind of weird in general. Hey, you found the cock! Tell me more. Well, we can see it's gold and it's flapping about, and God, it's... Chins up! <laughs> you act me on, dude. I know. Alright. Let's try it. I can't believe some of the gambling game is worse than this one. <laughs> well, then you want to lose more? It's like, like it's te more tempting, but you can screw up more. There we go. I mean, the race better if nothing else. True. You know, 50, 50 like that. Like that I made one. Mis I got one. I did one and one, and I got a better profit here. Fuck it. All or nothing. Two. No. One. Four. Fuck. Womp womp. I'm better with the really, really rare chances than the not-so-rare chances. Than the, than the possible chance, as they say. I'm so I'm the type of person that finds the Sword of Kings in Earthbound on his first try with not even knowing how to do IMG manipulation. That's fucking disgusting. You should be ashamed of your luck. God damn. Although I heard a lot of people look like that. It's like, once you, when you don't, what the fuck was that? Noise? Oh, that's the boss door, I guess. That would make sense. So we're fighting a turtle of some sort. Oh, I get it. Ah, fuck. Uh-oh. You lost your hat. Last time. With no power up. Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna suck. He's smaller than I thought he would be. And dead. Wow. Immediate spiked. Okay, only bull can break that. Okay. Well, at least that thing broke, so I can go in with the power up. <laughs> Fuck! That thing gets. Oh my god! That thing is fast! Wow! I feel so much more underwhelmed with him on this side. Say, so he doesn't- again, he looked very small. Like he's there's more some, there's some good far. fight music we got going here. Oh my god. <laughs> Do I even want to know? I- it's a uh, interesting donation name. Okay, well, yeah, I can see why. Fun cock yeah. facts. Chickens <laughs> are well known for being violent and may even turn into murderously cannibalistic, cannibalizing their fellows if not given enough room in which to live. Thank you for the fun cock facts. All right, well, I know what to expect of the boss now, so let's see what we can do. Better later. 
with that coin gambling minigame, you will max out your coin count if you get three in a row. It does not matter what multiplier you go for. So, basically only go for the three times, because it literally doesn't matter otherwise. Because that's the what best if you odds. Win three times in a row? Yeah, it's the best odds. Yeah. Then why have you do two other options? Because you don't want to do that. Yeah, because basically can't you max out with a ten with a tenor like literally just what twice I mean? Yeah, two 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 yeah, little, 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 two tens would do it. But you don't have to get lucky get a one out of four twice. Yeah. Ah, damn it! I bounced because I hit. I held duck. Oh, oh! Cause you trying to? Cause you trying to do the belly flop? I was no. I was trying to like crawl on the ground so I'd have a low, smaller hitbox, but I bounced. Yeah, right, that's right. You did the the belly flop animation. I understand that, Tamoyo. Oh, coin rain! Time to get rich. Those coins are creeping me the fuck out. Those smiley faces. Uh, those are crowns. Yeah, I thought crowns. those were faces for a second. Yeah! Oh, and the timer automatically stopped. Next stage is over. Oh no, timer didn't stop. It's still going. Oh, it looked like it would stop. Yeah! Oh, that'd be the rudest. You get to the final boss, you get to the boss, then you die before, before the timer runs out. Well, let's try our luck now, since we said, since they said all you need to do is win this three times. Left. There's one. Left. Oh, no! Wow, lots of skulls. Left. Well, definitely a net positive on that one. By like two, by like two thousand. Uh, let's see what the three hundred is. Maybe more diamonds. Everything seems to be worth more so far. Oh, it looks like the big hearts. Yeah, the big hearts were 10. That's the difference. So just keep more big hearts, I'm guessing. Well, there's definitely more one ups, too. Yeah, too. Damn it! Oh no! Same yeah, fucking thing happened again. Off. It it hooks real hard because this part over here on the left is the same as that small part on the right. Yeah, so it has to like hook to basically make the perspective match. But we got a ton of lives out of that, so it's still worth it no matter what. And more importantly, we got a lot of money. Sure did. Look at look at little baby Wario there. He's so excited. I think you literally got triple your coin count from the previous two levels in just that one. I believe so. Well, just there we go. That's that that's a fourth of the game done right there. And it's normal Woo! stream end time. Should we call it here? Might as well. Yeah. This takes a long time to count down. Holy cow! I mean, I can just press the button. I just thought it would go a bit faster than that. <laughs> Automatic pause. With yodeling. Whoop, whoop, wire, whoop. I didn't mean to go that far down. Nope, nope, nope. We're done here. Oh, the minigames. Oh, oh, I have no money, though, because it all went to the bank. What? <laughs> Let's 
So does that mean you can go to previous levels via that elevator? Yeah, I mean, if you take long enough, I guess, because it looks like I can hop back in. Fun Animal Facts says, Somebody in chat asked for more! I should have known this is where exactly where Fun Animal Facts would go. Echidnas <laughs> have a unique four-headed phallus, and tiger phalluses is often ground up as part of traditional Chinese medicine as an impotency cure and aphrodisiac. Enjoy. Thank you for the Fun Animal Facts. How do I save state in this uh, emulator? The easiest way would be to go into the uh, menu, Oops, and you can save. Oops, set up. <laughs> and there it should be like what? Save state. Yeah. Okay, cool. We will continue this. Oh my god, it's gonna be a while before we continue this, though. That's right, because you're gone for American Thanksgiving, aren't you? So, yeah, so for those who don't know, I'm gone from the 25th to the 29th, so the next stream won't be... Sorry. the ne There will only be one stream next week, and it will be the 30th, which will be normal fortune cookie, unless I get sick. Um... <laughs> There is no stream on Friday. That one, uh, something came up. So that slot will not be happening on Friday, but Saturday will be Fortune Cookie. S enjoy your Thanksgiving with a meal? No. I'm not, ha I'm not having Thanksgiving with a meal. It's with my brother-in-law. With Reese's family, mostly. Yeah. All right. Nice to finally play that for a little bit. <laughs> Seems alright. I'm sure the rest of those treasures are going to be a pain in the ass to find, though. I say, very productive, quote-unquote. Very productive. Uh, unusually productive day. I knew I knew that Untitled Goose Game was going to be short. And I knew Tap Hole Tremor would be short-ish. My, my estimation tonight was that we were going to have two hours of Tap Hole and then three hours of Goose Game, and that would have taken us to Probably a half hour from now. I did not expect to be a third through the third game of the night for game clearing, but that does put a nice big dent in game clearing to make up for having missed most of November. Yeah. Because we're, we're a fourth of the way through game uh, V, which just leaves W, X, Y, and Z. Yay! Oh. We know the alphabet! Hooray! Go! Uh, unintended triple feature! Yeah. But it was very predictable. Pathetic. Predictable. Smash Tunes for 38. Wojo 42 for 5. Cardian Joker for 70. Luka Jins for 74. Peanut Butters for 42. Jallion for 18. Owl Breaker for 30. Thank you all for subbing and hanging out tonight. Uh, your eggs are courtesy of the following people. By which I mean it does not look like we have any, which means we just play the old faithful. You will <laughs> give me an egg! The classic. The classic. Pretty sure I played- oh yeah, because that's that Star Fox egg is Fox going- Uh, Owlbreaker asked a comment in the resub message here, and I guess I'll clarify for those who haven't heard this before. Uh, is Scully just going to be doing Massey's and Tim streams on the TRG and Friends channel? Um... Yes, currently. Uh, I will be... All the Twitch streams from here on out that I do are all going to be on uh, the main backup channel, which is youtube.com slash protonjohnlivestreams. And let's cause a little bit of uh, inception with it because I need to show off something here. So, first and foremost, I need to change this damn banner because it's still the... Still like the default one they give you, which is like, here's a heart on a on a light. That's, that's like one of the default ones you can pick. Uh, so yeah, they're all going up here now. The Star Fox uh, Assault playthrough we did on Monday is up there now. It went up during this stream. But uh, so how this is gonna work is that all streams are gonna go up. Uh, I think we're caught up now as of to this stream currently. So all streams from here on out will go up a day after, because that's all I'm that's what I'm legally allowed to do based on my contract. I have to wait 24 hours before the streams go up. Scully was also doing that, so if you were just following uh, the TRG and Friends channel, it's the exact same. But this is the channel. And uh, we have playlists that are literally like they're in chronological order, although it's a bit messed up because we have the alternate timelines right now, because the old streams stopped at January 17th. 
2015, and then, then it goes November 7th, 2019. But if you were ever curious about a game, if you want to see any game we've streamed, all you have to do is go to search, and then type in the name of the game or part of the name of the game. So let's, let's say Silver Surfer, because it's on the screen here. It'll bring up uh, the game, any parts that it's actually in, and if it's updated enough, it will actually bring up the entire playlist. So all you gotta do is just click the playlist, and then the whole stream comes up, and you can jump around. So you basically have now you have an archived search feature for any game you want to see that we've ever streamed. So that's the main reason I kind of did it like this. And honestly, uh, I think it, it'll work decently well. I just need to finish and update all these playlists with the correct info. Yeah, that's where that full playlist should have come up. But yeah, there you go. So just go to youtube.com slash Proton John Livestreams. So just basically that, but take out the spaces in the comma. It's linked in chat. And, and adds an S. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Let's go to our block. Once I get this to work. Oh my god, what the fuck happened there? Oh, that's what happened. I've been looking at this picture in the thumbnail trying to figure out what the fuck this was. And now I know. Okay, I was just playing around with stuff and happened to make this. Proud and scared oh, of what I did god. here. Also, Chugga John doesn't seem to like these. Oh, of course that's scary. It's frightening. It was scaring me from just looking at the thumbnail, honestly. Just the Thank thumbnail you. just throwing me off, too. Thank you for Nightmare Fuel for tonight. <laughs> now get the knife. The knife. The knife. The knife. Geese are good listeners. He just really wanted that plate. He was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight took a hell of a turn. Just as delicious as the N++ color all to my opinion, but as I said back then, and I shall reiterate, I am happy, I am a happy, eye-bleeding bastard. <laughs> I figured it was better to spare us from the blood red. Oh no. It's over 9,000! <laughs> I heard over 9,000 games and had to do it. I'm not there yet. I'm close. I'm closing in on it. I uh, said, when, John? That's the current count. Over. Eight four five eight. Only give, about five give me, <laughs> give me give like me two three, days. Give me three more cons at least. Cause Magfest, I usually come home with a lot. Yeah, Magfest is usually pretty good for stuff, or at least sheer amount. Your little cursed Roselia adventure inspired me to try my hand and make a little fan mon creation. Something I haven't tried in a while. Behold the cursed glitchy Pokemon Badoo, Curselia and Curserade. Or maybe they're just uh, John Arian forms. Who knows? These are just rough off the cuff designs with no planning. Maybe I'll revisit them to give them some polishing in the future. Uh, bonus fun botanical fact I base the flowers off of Snapdragons because they look like little human skulls when they wither and die. That is a pretty cool design, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, cursed Roselia is from my story about Pokemon Sword earlier. And earlier in the stream. Wait, game clearing Monday and Wednesday? It's a message. First it was Star Fox Assault, then Tadpole Treble, an untitled goose game. S T N U spells stew. That's short for Stewart. It could also be in alphabetical order. I've got it! The next game starts with the letter V! But everyone already knew that. <laughs> Sam, that revelation was pretty useless. You should go to bed. <laughs> Meanwhile, a lad shrouded in a land shrouded in shadow, Proton John, voiced by Steve Bloom, character designed by <laughs> Masami Obari, laughs to himself. <laughs> All according to Kekaku. Site so editor's note, Kekaku means plan. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. She put on the bra. Honk. Rosa honk. Honk. Kawaii honk. Camille says honk. 
I wish I could draw better more often, but I like honk, honk on John. A Canadian goose who wrecks shit because he knows he's protected due to being an endangered species. And he can Gigamax, developing an amazing flowy galaxy hair. Damn. I have so many ideas and not enough time to draw. Stop, John, I want to draw, but I can't. Honk. I'm sorry, Camille, for the inspiration, but thank you for drawing anytime you do. I love your pictures. Including the Galaxian, or the Dynamaxed honk. And I think this is the last one we got tonight. I'm here for jury duty. My nose was stolen by a goose during my wife's birthday. I got the nice Tosalia, but enough about me. Who's on trial? Why are you on that goose? They tried to steal the, the musical tadpoles for profit? A fine of over 9,000? That's no good. What's wrong? You have to change the room I'm being in? Is it being in? Why? Is it too big to properly fit in the jury seats? Oh, I'm sorry. I had to scramble the courtroom. <laughs> I hope you can start on time, as this shirt is tight. Also, can you help me get out of the room? I think I grew while we were talking. I'll just blame the goose for stealing my mail. <laughs> it's a very complicated procedure we've got here. The lore is deep for Buff Tom John. I also scrambles you fairies. All right, that's gonna do it for tonight, everybody. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Again, no stream on Friday. Saturday is gonna be next stream, and it is Fortune Cookie. And that will be the last stream for about a week. Because I'll be gone for American Thanksgiving. So thank you all for hanging out. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we raiding with tonight? Uh, we are not doing cocaine mallet. Bust the honk's pretty good. Yanksgiving, you mean? Yeah, you know what? That's a better way to put it, honestly, since this is... I have the double dip. A lot of people want Busta Honk. I'm not doing fun cock facts. That's gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> That's gonna get us in a lot of trouble. That's why I also shot down Cocaine Mallet. Cocaine Mallet probably won't get us in that much trouble, honestly, by comparison. Yeah. Uh, let's check what's going on on Retro right now. Let's see if anyone is conveniently playing a Wario game. Anyone playing Virtual Boy Wario Land? <laughs> Show how I doubt it. That'd be impressive. You know what? Hang on, I think I got a target. This will make some people laugh. Oh boy. I feel like we've raided this person before. The name sounds familiar, but maybe we haven't. So, one of my friends was joking that, uh, I don't, I think it was Andrew, it might have been another viewer as well. They were joking about how, uh, somehow we were going to play Gex tonight. Like, the original Gex. No. Oh. And I found someone streaming the original Gex! <laughs> yeah! So, let's raid, is this Fort Fire or Forte Fire? With Busta Honk. And currently, I don't know what the fuck is happening on their stream, but it's amazing. Because it's... It's communist, it's communist Elmo. That is, wow. I don't know if we, I don't know if I can listen to that alert. But. Yeah, we made me shit myself, right? Bust the honk, bust the honk, what's up? Is there a raid coming through or something? Goji? Is that Goji Fox? I don't have a raid alert. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that there's a lot of awesome people about to come in here, and if you're not, you already are. Welcome, glad to have you here. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's on the council council. Then I, I think that's actually. Uh, What's up? I think that's actually Scoot's group. How are you? Did they that's actually? That's probably why I recognize the name. All right, cool. I up, will see everybody? you guys on Saturday for Fortune Cookie Night, everybody. It's kind of funky that that didn't go off. <laughs> Might have been because of Streamlabs are Here, I'll let you have one of these. John Ray's an old fashioned. Oh, wait, hang on. We're getting an old fashioned something here. Oh, it's just the Shadow Command. We're good. All right, now everybody. Just sit, by the way. It's not that. Anyway, here we go. Fuck me.
say basically. 